The six facts about Russia that President Joe Biden of the United States doesn't want you to know. And the reason that they're important is because what the Biden administration is trying to do is to pit Americans in Europe against Russia as though it's part of Asia. But the reality is, is that most of Russia is actually in Europe. And so here are the six facts. First of all, Russia has the fourth largest Christian population in the world. 103 million people in Russia profess themselves to be Christians, and that's 73.1% of the population, according to Pew Research. Second, the western side of Russia has the look and feel of Europe. Look where I'm standing right now in front of the St. Petersburg Palace. If you want to feel what a European town looks like, go to St. Petersburg, go to Moscow, and you'll see truly what it looks and feels like to be in Europe. Third, European civilization actually began in Russia, in the region just north of the Caucasus Mountains where the Hittite civilization began and then moved down southward into Europe. Russia actually is where Europe began. Fourth, Russia suffered more casualties in fighting against Nazi Germany in World War II than any other nation in Europe. And in fact, all of the nations of Europe combined had less casualties than Russia did in fighting and defeating Nazi Germany and Adolf Hitler. Fifth, if you look at the list of the 10 greatest Western novels ever written, clearly four of them always make the list and they're all from Russia. War and Peace and also Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. There's no question that Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov is always on that list. And then the works of Anton Chekhov, Four Russians are on that list. And finally, geologists consider the high point of, Russia, of, of Europe to be in Russia. It's Mount Elbrus, Elbrus standing at 18,510 feet in the north part of the Caucasus Mountains. Russia is actually part of Europe, and that's something that we need to remember as we're dealing with the problem between Russia and Ukraine.